<laughs> Don't forget to wear it over your nose. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a September favorites video. I can't believe it's already been a whole month since I decided to truly commit to doing YouTube and uploading videos every Monday and Thursday. So as you may or may not have seen, my first official upload was my August favorites video uh, just before. I'll link it right here. And uh, it's been a whole nother month and we have a whole new list of products to show you guys that I really enjoyed using this month. And there are all kinds of different genres, whether it be, you know, skincare or, you know, a favorite snack, just my favorites for this month. So let's get started. The first product we're going to talk about is a mask. So this is a mask from the brand Natalie Mills. I just got it in the mail a couple days ago and I already love it. Now, many of you may think that I'm being quote unquote extra. Um, it is a Austrian crystal studded mask. It's so gorgeous. I have it in light blue as well as like a cream nude color and also a navy blue to match with my other work uniform. So these are a cloth made mask with a double layer so it has a pocket here that you can actually put the pm 2.5 filter in so make sure that you change out that filter regularly as as well as wash the mask because it is a cloth mask um it's a great addition you know nowadays with covid that a great mask is you know a not only for your safety, but can also be a fashion statement. And, you know, just showing. <laughs> Don't forget to wear it over your nose. But see, look how gorgeous that is. And then also there are adjustable loopholes here to adjust for size. And it's just, it's so stunning. When I wore the cream one to work for the first day, I got so many compliments. It's, it's easy to wear. It is a little bit um, difficult to breathe if you're not used to wearing a cloth mask. I'm used to wearing a surgical mask, which is a little bit further away from my nose, so it's easier to breathe in. But this one, it just has to get used to it. You know, people wear cloth masks all the time. So just wear that. And it's just so stunning. The next item that we have today is going to be skincare. So this is Dr. Brandt's Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. So I've told you guys in the past, I don't really do much for my skin. I don't really wear makeup either. So this is just my skin, no makeup. I do have a couple of freckles, but for the most part, I don't, you know, wear a, like makeup or do much skincare. The most I do is I do wash my face when I'm in the shower, after, especially after a workout. And so I've been trying to find different exfoliators, moisturizers, cleansers. And so this one I did get in the mail. I do love Dr. Brandt's uh, products. I have um, an under eye cream that I use for them because it, they um, get rid of dark circles really, really well. And then um, I also have like a cellulite sculpting cream for uh from them it's like a cooling feeling it's really nice so this product i was really 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 pleasantly surprised with it um because it is a exfoliator and also a, like a cleanser and the typical exfoliating wash is you can feel the beads on your skin this one has beads as well but it's so so fine like the the it feels like really fine sand like rubbing on the skin and you could just feel it like getting into your pores and cleaning everything out so i highly recommend this one and it almost has like a minty cooling feeling to it and it just feels super nice super refreshing and i highly recommend this product next item in my september favorites is this hat so this is called the pony flow so it is your typical baseball cap super cute now, the big difference between this and a regular baseball cap is, I don't know if you noticed, 
the hole is extra big and extra high. Now, me wear, having long hair, when I go out running, I don't like to have my ponytail low. And if I wanna put it through the hole of a baseball cap, it typically has to be a low pony because the hole usually ends up about a little bit lower than midway down our heads. With the height of this, I can have my hair in a high ponytail and then it's a nice little Velcro scrap underneath. And as you can see here, the hole's way up here so my ponytail can be a little bit higher. The next product we're going to talk about in today's September favorites is OPI's Nail Envy. Now, I am someone who typically likes to get her nails done on a regular basis, but as we all know, acrylic nails and gel nails do damage your nails. Now, I haven't had a manicure in a hot second, um, A, because of COVID, and B, I just can't financially justify it right now. So I just need to lay off, you know, getting my nails done every for a bit and just let my natural nails rest and grow as well. So my nails are a bit damaged from having those nails consistently done for a while. So as you can see, I did already put a couple coats on, but basically nail... Envy is a nail strengthener. So you put it on top, uh, about two coats on the first day and then one coat every other day and then you just take it off after a week and then you can continue to repeat that. I've used this for just about a couple months and every month like I just I do love it when I decide to use it because it just strengthened my nails. It's crazy to see the results. The online reviews are all amazing and then Yes, this is about, I think, a $17 a bottle, which is a little bit steep for quote-unquote nail polish, but it's not polish. It's a strengthener. It's to heal your nails after they've been damaged from gel nails, acrylics, or just having too much wear in general. So it's a nice little clear coat. You put it on your nails, and it helps them become stronger and grow faster. Next up in my September favorites are actually these earrings. So these are the Amara Ear Climbers from the brand Goryana. So as you can see here, it goes from down here all the way to the top of your ear or your ear lobe. And it looks like you have a second piercing. Um, I don't, I do actually have a second piercing, but these earrings, they slide in from the, the first hole and then they just, clip onto the back and just push up like this. So you just slide the top of your lobe over and it just kind of holds in that position. Now I've gotten so many compliments on these earrings. It's just so flattering to have the little crystals go upwards toward your ear. It's just a really, really classy look. And one of my favorite things about them is, so I sleep in all kinds of positions, but one of the most irritating things for me is when I have a stud in or any other kind of earring where the back pokes at my neck. It is so uncomfortable when I'm sleeping and then that stud pokes right here and then I just get like a very uncomfortable indent back here. But since these are kind of the, it goes a scoop like this around your ear, I don't have anything poking out this way. So this is super comfy, super cute. You don't even realize it's there. These are my go-to earrings to have on a regular basis. I love the brand Goryana, and I actually have like probably about 95% of my jewelry is from that brand. These necklaces are all Goryana. I'm a huge fan, huge stand from them, and uh, they're actually local. So they're, well, quote-unquote local. They're located in Orange County at, in Laguna, and um, they actually have tons of locations all over LA, and you can also order online. Um, it's a great brand. They're gold coated. They also just came out with a fine jewelry collection and um, I am just waiting for Black Friday so that I can splurge all my money on it. Next up in our September favorites is this mirror. Now this is a pink or rose gold um, vanity mirror from the brand Simple Human. Now I know Simple Human is not the the most affordable brand. I am very fortunate that my best friend Catherine does work there. So she gifted this to me for, I believe it was Christmas or my birthday, probably about three or four years ago. And if you can see here, so it's a sense, there's a sensor right here, the light turns on and it's a very, very zoomed in mirror. So for, if I ever do decide to wear makeup, this is a great way for me to see all the detail, but I <laughs> don't lie. Um, I definitely use this when it comes to plucking the stray hairs that I do get on my eyebrows and, you know, maybe a little bit of a mustache if I ever, you know, get a little bit of extra peach fuzz. I just want to pluck that out. 
and this is really great just to see the details in your face um highly highly recommend this mirror and you can also choose to turn off the light if you don't want to waste the battery if you don't want it just you know sensing things and turning on also it is rechargeable so it does have a micro usb port you just charge it and then the light stays on next up is a food scale so this it, i've been tracking my macros haven't been doing the greatest in the last couple weeks to be completely honest but um most of quarantine i have been tracking my macros which for those of you who don't know those are macronutrients those are your proteins your carbs and your fats for all of your food and a huge component of that is weighing your food and weighing out your portions so this is from the brand joseph and joseph so this is a tri scale it is compactable so um very portable very very convenient just stick it in my purse and the battery is also replaceable um so you just open it up like this you place your plate on top and then you turn it on so that it's at zero with the plate so you don't want to weigh the plate and then um it also gives you the on and off button and zeroing it out and then the unit so it has like milliliters ounces pounds even um grams all different ways to measure your food because different um, foods have different types of measurements. This is so convenient and just so portable. You know, most food scales at home are very bulky and like quite large. And this is something that you can just stick in your purse and take it with you if you decide to measure out your food while you're out. Moving on are a great summer staple. I mean, it's California where I live, so it's pretty much sunny most of the time and these are key sunglasses so i love the brand key period you know they are a brand started in australia um it's spelled q u a i a lot of people think it's quay but it's actually key now i have a huge collection of key sunglasses but this one in particular is the model called just saying um my favorite thing about them is that they're aviator style which are very flattering and then also with the nose piece here it has the glasses far enough away from my eyes that my eyelash extensions don't hit them which is a huge thing for me because you know you don't want to be like hitting your sunglasses so i don't know if you can see from here it's so far away from my face that i don't have any problems with it i actually saw them on the sale page and got like two or three extra pairs of just this model in itself because I loved how far away from my face. Not all key sunglasses are far away in that aspect. And so I knew that these were a staple, but in general, I do love key sunglasses. They have great deals, great sales. Um, they even have uh, really great sunglass cases and regular glasses cases. I actually gifted those to all my friends and family for Christmas. It's super affordable and portable even. Let me grab one for you. So this is kind of a add-on to my favorites. I wasn't originally going to put this in, but so this is their sunglasses slash eyeglass case. So as you can see, with nothing inside of it, it does collapse like this. Look how tiny that is. It's so great that it's so compactable. And then once you want to put sunglasses in it, you open it up like this, you take the flaps up, and then we'll just take those sunglasses I just had on, fold the sunglasses, put it inside, and now it holds like this, which is so awesome that when you don't have sunglasses in them, it gets so tiny. And then when you do have it, you know that they're well protected. Last but not least, our final product today is going to be these green juice gummies. You may have seen them in my most recent grocery haul. I am a sucker for these. So I love a good green juice. You know, I love having my fruits and vegetables in a nice drink, a nice refreshing green drink. And they made it into a gummy bear. Like, how great is that? So this is a collaboration between Press Juicery and Sugarfina. So Sugarfina does make a lot of really aesthetically pleasing candies. And they have partnered up with Press Juicery to create these uh green juice gummies so these are going to be uh bears made with apple lemon and greens doesn't get more refreshing than that they're not too sweet and they are just such a good snack just to pop a little bit in and i love the packaging like who else has gummy bears that they can just you know screw on and off a cap and dump some gummy bears out and have it for you know however long it takes you to finish it i try my best to you know divvy it out and self-control myself so that I don't 
ruin the portion control and just have a little bit each day. Well, there you have it. Those are my favorite products for this past month of September. I can't wait to do one for you in October. If there are any products that you want me to try and maybe they'll be featured in my October favorites or any favorites in the future, be sure to let me know. Um, I am one month into YouTube, so if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe, like, and comment. If you're old here or if you've been a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And definitely let me know what you want to see. You know, I'm trying to come up with as much content as possible and post as often as possible as I can for you guys. So every Monday and Thursday, and I'm so excited to show you what else I can make for you.